And, and I want to talk about the machines a little bit because we oftentimes think about this as algorithms. Um, you know, being an algorithmic leader means that you can really use the data behind everything your company is touching in order to know your customers better and serve them better. But I oftentimes think about this in a little bit of a U-shaped curve. Um, there's a certain point where you kind of have to stop pushing so hard because even though we can drive sales higher, we may have a responsibility to the customer equity, to the, the goodness of our customer base, to the sustainability, to the environment, all the ESG groups in order to um, further maintain the quality of our company, not just the sheer volume of sales. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, I think, another challenge that's been created by the rise of the platform companies on the web is that they essentially inhabited this notion of userhood, right? So we are not technically, in their minds, customers or patrons or clients, right? We, over and over again, we are their users. And by sort of uh, their, their true customers- Team Tron are, here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their true customers and clients and patrons are the advertisers and the marketers and the retailers from the other end of the platform, right? Um, and so they, we, uh, because we always were users under the web, we just maintain that status now on the platforms. And so they don't really view us as being part of what I would consider a healthy give and take commercial transaction interaction relationship, right? They see us as a resource to be mined. Um, and that is... Again, that, that is one of, the, one of the things I think we need to try to come to grips with is that the web has really taken a turn. It's, it's this ultimate, it's an incredible market-based system, but yet it's leaving behind all the indicia that makes for a healthy marketplace, which is willing buyers, willing sellers, a meeting of minds, uh, and treating us, again, not as users, but as you're saying, as customers. You do, you know, in, in, in a true commercial relationship, you don't push the boundaries, right? Because right. you want to maintain that long-term relationship is sustainable. It benefits both sides. Um, when you're a user, that pushing the boundaries that you mentioned, the U-curve, um, that's probably way far on one side or the other. It's not in a place where in most normal commercial transactions, you know, somebody trying to sell me something, uh, you know, would otherwise would sort of back away from because it feels like you're, you're going past a certain point. Those, right. those points don't seem to exist online. Do you, do you think the paradigm is the same? I mean, we're talking about the platform companies largely and the big mm -hmm. tech players. Is the paradigm the same for a corporation that maybe doesn't have as much data to work with and they don't have an advertising model? They're basically selling product. Does the mm -hmm. same problem of treating the customers as a resource still exist? I think it can, yeah. And you know, this may be some of my own personal viewpoint here, but I think when you get to, when corporations get to a certain size and scale, um, I think it is harder for them to see the people that they are you know, working with serving on a daily basis as actual customers and clients, as opposed to you know, points on a spreadsheet. So mm -hmm. I think there is a certain sort of, uh, uh, I don't know what the term would be exactly, it's sort of a withdrawal or a pullback a bit from the human dimension of being somebody's customer when you have that kind of scale and scope going on. So when you have that in the web, when that's, when that's then attached to the web sort of ethos of the seam cycles I've talked about, I think that exacerbates that sort of notion of, of us being these sort of abstract entities to them rather than flesh and blood. Yes, I, I completely agree with you here. One of the things we talk about all the time is the distancing language that's used to express yeah. data and analytics. I'm not a person, I'm an eyeball or an impression or a view or different things that are not human things, um, not people describers. Yeah.